All right, guys and gals, welcome back to day two of the 2023 ATA show. We hope you enjoyed yesterday's video where I had the best products to show from day one. We're gonna see what Todd and PJ have brought today. I'm really hoping they step their game up. I was kind I of underwhelmed with yesterday. the butt wipe yeah. from yesterday, it's, PJ. So listen, let's, let's we citrus gotta be, flavor. That doesn't help me kill deer, PJ. <laughs> citrus butt wipes don't help me kill deer. It has been. Let, 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 let's be clear. It's been kind of a tough show here now. I mean, I, I mean, first a lot of, of all, people don't even have new products. The, the pack year. that you, which I don't want to give away, you kind of stole from both of us. He's already been using it, so yeah, FYI. Why are you? I mean, that? so I just want you. There's a lot of poaching going on. There's a lot of fighting going on behind the scenes. But PJ, we're gonna let you. Go ahead and start All right. Start today off. I'll kick things off and I should. I guess I should say I'm kicking this off already at an advantage because oh. Chris, Chris B uses this. Oh, well, so man. immediately that jumps up the, you you know, the viewability. Hair? He's got the flow. <laughs> He's got a flow. Strong with that young man right now. So we have the UV3 XL. This is a scope uh, and uh, that UV3 XL, it's large, it's hunting size. What's new about this, the scope isn't new, but what's new is this three pin cartridge. If you're not familiar with the UV3, it's a cartridge based system. This is a cartridge, this is a cartridge. You can change it out, make it a single pin, put a lens with a dot in there for target archery, whatever, and all you gotta do is swap this out. Well, this That's one pretty is pretty designed. Neat. Pretty interesting. This one's designed primarily for hunters. Let me turn that light on in Primarily there. Primarily designed. Listen, we're right next to these guys too, and they told us. It adds nine inches to every deer you shoot. To every deer that's you what, shoot. I, that's what he, I he said. He said it adds nine <laughs> points to your target score. Okay, you know, yeah. Well, no, then he said nine <laughs> inches to your, to your score of your buck, unless it's cold out. But anyhow. So it is a three pin sight, <laughs> and what's unique is the top and the bottom pin are the maneuver, excuse me, the first and the third. There's a bonus bottom pin at the bottom there, right above the level. That's the crazy pin. You're out there at the four. tack. <laughs> You gotta say, hey, how far is that caribou? 150 yards. That's your pin for that. But anyway, Justin, are you ready for that? I can't even hit him at 50, dude. <laughs> 150. <laughs> so three pin, because that you know, if you're a one pin uh, guy, but you you discovered, oh man, you know that deer ran out another 20 yards. I didn't have time to move it. Three pin is kind of the middle of the road. It's it, you know, you're gonna put this on an adjustable site most likely. You've got uh, 15 thousandths, 15 thousandths, and then the bottom two pins are 10 thousandths. So, just great. The folks at UltraView, you know, you can see the light in there that we've got. Lights that up. Of course, it's bright in here. You can't see too well. Okay. Turn it the other way. No, there's, there's, that's, that's legit. So, that's cool. Yeah, cool. UV3 XL. What's new again is the cartridge, that three pin plus the bonus. So four Cartridge. pins, for those of you <laughs> counting at home, four pins. All right. All right, Graf, you're up next. Well, I, I don't <clears> even <throat> know that this is a new product this year, but Boning came out with this pocket quiver. You know, yesterday you're all, you're, yesterday you're taking our old matters over, showing off the new saddle. Well, I'm showing off. Let me see that, because I think I had that. Boots. I've had that for two oh, years. Oh, here we go. You're going to hear, what you just heard right there, you're going to hear when Justin shows off one of his products. He's always just trying to trump us. <laughs> no, that is different than No, the this I thing have. is cool. This yeah. thing is slick. I mean, listen, if you're in your backyard, sure. you're doing something quick, you don't want to make a hole in your pockets of your jeans. Justin wears like $300 jeans. The last thing you want to do is have a pocket get worn into the, False. the, the, <laughs> into the corner of it. So listen, it's quick, yeah. it's easy, it secures the arrows, six of them, holds bolts too. It's easy, it's simple. Backyard shooters, whatever. I, I like this. It's simple. It's, cool. it's easy. I, I mean, you know, if you go Look. to a 3D shoot, you're going to see these dudes walk up to the it's line quick. with one arrow stuck in their pocket. Yeah, I like Putting it. Putting a hole in there, but that thing is awesome. Listen, yeah. do, you, do you approve this product? I do. Thank you, PJ. Yes. Justin, do you approve it? Come on. You would buy this. I would buy this. False statement. I'm buying one. 30, I think you said $38. I got one. I'll give it to you. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. I feel like, okay, so try to pull an arrow out of it. Dude, what are you talking Comes right out? Yeah. Now try to put it in without looking. Done. All right, fine. I'm buying one. Sign me up. <laughs> Sign me up. All right. I decided I needed a, th yesterday's theme was saddle gear yep. for me. 
for the for the saddle boys. Saddle boy, B O I. B O I. Todd, you need to get on the internet more. You may have heard of it. Get on. There's a thing now called TikTok, Justin. You got to get with the times, dude. Anyways, so uh, my theme is backpacks because I feel like the last couple years there's been like a rash of people coming out with new backpacks. Like everywhere I go, everyone's got a backpack. And I picked out three of them that I thought were really cool. Now, of course, PJ was like, well, I've already got that one. I'm using it. You guys are losers. You didn't know about it. But too bad. So I'm going to start off with that one. Yes. This is Trump. PJ and PJ can help me out with this one because he's been with it this season with it this year. That's right. This is the Treehouse 38 yes. from oh, Mystery uh, Ranch. One quick question though, PJ, what? you don't even, you don't even film. What are you bringing in this pack when you are that going? That is the question. I mean seriously. I go. I walk no more than a half mile from my car. I hunt no more from than 10 minutes from my house. And I fill that thing up. I don't know with what. It's, this is a fairly substantial <laughs> I have no idea. pack. They make a, a Treehouse 20, yeah, which leaders. I think is probably leaders. I think that was my they style. Went with I saw the, that one. They went with the metric system, which I don't fully understand, but good for them. So Treehouse 38. Yeah. A couple things I liked about it. First thing that's going to catch your eye is going to be the material. It's nice. Right? It's soft, Super it's quiet. soft, quiet. For guys like Todd that are noise conscious, Unlike me. We're bow probably, hunters. Isn't that what we're supposed to be? Yeah, I know, but we could debate that later. Very, very <laughs> silent pack. Couple of cool things I liked about it. It's got this pouch on the top, pouch, zippered pouch on the top, right? Yes. And you open up the front and this thing falls forward like so, you have access to that pouch yeah. from the inside. So it passes through. So if you're gonna keep something in here that you need access to, maybe you gotta take your pack off, Get something out of it for whatever reason. You're My phone detects you guys that I saw a deer in Pennsylvania. Your, citru your citrus butt wipes. <laughs> you put this down, you got to get a wipe. Or if it happens to be open, you need to get a wipe, blow your nose, wipe your butt, whatever. You can keep those in there. So that was really cool. It's got a bunch of interior pockets. I know you guys yeah, will be, nice. be able to see, but we can help you. They're kind of like they're they're only like maybe half yeah, as deep. Exactly. So you don't have to reach all the way I down in there to grunt get those. To. Perfect. Get, is that what you keep in there? Yeah, yeah. Grunt hold on. Keep it, keep grunt it going Grunt right there. So, I don't know that we need to go through like every crazy You gotta show them the inside here, man. Well, of this thing. one of the cool things is that you haven't talked about yet, awesome Justin, is that it's rigid. It is rigid. So it's you can not see on the sides. It's collapsing when you're in the tree no. stand and you're digging in there. Falling in on itself. It's got yeah. these like carbon rods yeah, in the front. Are. So when you open it up, you get you a leave it open extra room. room. The thing also that nice. I liked about this a ton is when you close this lid at night, let's say when you're leaving, and for me this happens quite a bit. You're getting down from your tree stand at night and there's deer around, right? But it's getting dark. Where you hunt? Yeah, yeah, occasionally <laughs> this happens. So you're trying to be as quiet as possible when you get down. You've got two buckles on the back that hold this lid, yeah. one on either side, but you don't need to use them. They've got this little silent buckle here yes. that you can just loop Because they're never going to hear you when you're climbing down. But just for Todd, the record. <laughs> I have been able to successfully get out of my stand, pack all my gear up with deer within shooting range, and then I climb down. So too yes, noisy for that. Todd, it can be done. So this is yeah. the mystery range. At the range end of the hunt, I saw like Tree a gorilla. House, I'm out. <laughs> 38. This is a $299 for this pack. So it's a $300 it's awesome. pack. It's, it's a little pricey, Three, not gonna the lie. Belt, I don't know, the belt $300, comes man, off. you just covered a lot of key points. There's a lot of value. The belt comes off, so that just, you know, belt, if you're- Waist belt is removable if yeah. you don't want to use it. Exactly. So yeah, it's just a really yeah. awesome pack. Load lifters on the back. see this, baby. On the back. Put it on there once. No, this is nice. They're, they're, they're gonna sell a lot of these. It's I can just, tell already. Yeah. I would go with pack. the 20 liter version, personally. I just, I don't need to carry that much yeah, stuff. Yeah, most people are going to do better with that, but most oh, people don't carry 42 s s changes of clothes Seems in their nice. bag like me. Apparently. Well, just in case you poop your pants, oh, I need, you gotta have, I need, to have a change of clothes. I need to take the whole tub Seems of nice. butt wipes in that nice. thing. <laughs> I like that pack. It's a really yeah. cool yeah. looking pack. It's right? nice. I think they said they oh, had a bunch of these me. already for us, right? Yeah, I'll ask Glenn. All right. Peach is up next. Here we got something this from a good friend of ours. This wow. is Jerry this has from been doing well, I heard. ABB slash Helix Broadheads. Jerry said he's been going nuts with people coming over to ask him about this broadhead. Um, but this is the FX4. You can see that FX4? 
FJ4. FJ. Oh, FJ4. boy, here oh, we go. He doesn't know up. the name of it. I don't know my letter. FJ4 because it looks like a fighter jet. That's the ah. name. You can see that shape there, that profile. And four because they added these big bleeder blades. Right. So what is the problem, the main problem with fixed blade broadheads? We're always in the debate, fixed blade, mechanical, what is it? The fixed blade is gonna go through anything, but they're not the best at leaving blood trails. A lot of times I've killed deer with fixed blades and I mean, don't You're going to get a lot of comments on that statement. But Go ahead. We'll, we'll let it fly. Get the, I've, hey, nobody can tell me my experience. I've killed deer with poor blood trails. So they added I'm, these bleeder blades here to help get some more blood out of the deer the on the ground. Yes, to help the bleeding. Single bevel, you know, that always helps with turning as it's going in. Again, causing more damage. Um, just a great it's new broadhead. It's a thick blade. Like it's gonna be yes. hard to tell. You can right? sharpen that. Yeah. Well, they came, well, they came, came out with a sharpener. If you were paying attention, sharpener. you weren't paying attention over no, there. I, I'm just saying. They got a sharpener. They got a sharpener for it. It comes in 25 grain increments from 100 to 225. So whatever you like, if you're one of those guys that needs a 225 grain broadhead, I don't know why you do. But if you need it, Dang, PJ. you can get one. Well, we're going to get some comments <laughs> I on did, this. I sure. did see that, those heavyweight Euro guys. I mean, really that sucker that. is going to go through a shoulder blade. All right. And All right. fortunately for people like me, go through the guts who the shoot them through the guts and the liver <laughs> and in the shoulder, I need help. You got to cover it all. All right, I'm going to put you two jamokes to work here. So stand there. All right. You guys are going to hold this, hold baby. This Whoa. Oh, what's a jamoke? What the heck? I don't know. Yeah, we're going to look it up after this. We're going to Google it. Oh, you guys are going to hold this new oh. bow case by Flambeau, although it's upside down. But yes. here we go. It is the new, and we're going to hide Justin and PJ because we don't have to look at them Do anymore. It. Brand new bow case by Flambeau. It's called the Formula. This is a, this is a really slick case. They, they put some thought into this. It's lightweight. It's modular. If you can bend this down a little bit, guys, Nothing's going to fall working. out, is it? You basically unscrew these two pieces that you see here in orange. You're able to slide them. It holds bows up to 40 inches. Now, I am a sucker for gear ties. I've always loved these night eyes. You can use these things for just about anything. If you've ever been in my truck before, I got about 40 of these things. But very simple, very quick way to be able to secure your bow. One, another nice feature about this bow case, quiver on. You can leave your quiver on. Carries arrows. Justin's giving me a thumbs up up here. That's good. <laughs> Hit us up. Nice little case on the side for holding your supplies. It's just a great little bow case. Yeah. I mean, I love this thing. It's 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 a no-brainer. Lightweight, easy. Bows up to 40 Did inches. Did you get a price on it? I did get a price on it. Back me up here. I got a price on this. It was 200 guys, $200. Kurt, pay attention. Kurt, pay attention. $200, <laughs> right? $200. So, it's a so nice case. That's that's good because that's not the, you know, $400 bow case, but it has a lot of features of the $400. It, it is airline case. approved. Yeah. So you're ready to go. That's pretty solid. Put locks on it. And you're gone. That's got a lot of cool Look it features. Up. Flambeau, I'll the give formula. You, I'll give you points for that one. Thank you. Todd. Thank you very much, PJ. <laughs> right. Justin, you had some other packs over there. So what are you doing? I what got are you, two what? more packs. We're going to go with this new, this is the Muddy Pro Pack. So Muddy came out with, I believe, four packs this year. They've got a lumbar fanny pack with shoulder straps and they have three day packs. This is the largest in terms of cubic inches at the 1500. What's the, um, before you go farther there, have yeah. you noticed they don't like calling, nobody likes calling them fanny packs anymore. Fanny it's pa lumbar pack or it's a hip pack. What's wrong with fanny pack? Uh, Why is that named? Who I wants mean, to wear a fanny pack? I, don't, fanny? I, don't know. I mean, the, Joe Rogan wears them, but it doesn't make them cool. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Joe. You won't watch this. But anyways, right. this is the Pro Pack, right? New for this year, so uh, very similar. It's got a lot of similar features to the Mystery Ranch Pack, but it's going to come in at less than half the price, right? So if you're somebody that's price conscious and you're like, man, 300 bucks is a lot of money for a pack, and you're looking for something that's going to be comparable to that, right? This pack is actually great. 
Um, what I like about it personally, for me, I have to have big compression straps on the outside of my yeah. packs, right? I, this is usually, unlike a lot of guys, I carry my clothing on the outside of the pack usually. So, and a lot of times, let's say we're saddle hunting, I've got platform out here, I've got sticks out here, um, my jacket, my camera arm, all that stuff usually for me goes on the outside of the pack and then cameras on the inside. So two really big, long compression straps on the outside of this uh, pack, which was kind of a must for me. It's got a nice, easy access, top open pouch. With mm -hmm. The one thing with this pack is it's got zippers and pouches and yeah. stuff all over the place for organizing your gear. Um, a lot like that Mystery Ranch pack and a lot of the packs that we see on the market, it zips down and when you hang it open, in the tree, you've got access to whatever you happen to put in, in here. So if you've got a can call or something like that, you've yeah. got pockets on the inside here as well. So it just gives you access to all of your stuff when it's in the tree. It also uses a buckle system like this. So when you're done for the night, you can put this closed, buckle it. So all the deer that are around Justin, feature. you hey won't man, scare them away. If you just don't want to be dealing with zippers, because Todd, you complain about zipper noise more than any human I've ever met <laughs> in my life. So don't <laughs> act like you wouldn't use that. No it, Velcro. It also has a removable waist strap. So it's mm -hmm. actually Velcro. There is Velcro there. It is Velcro <laughs> inside of here, but, but you you're can, not moving. You can you would do that before that and you can remove yeah, that waist strap out if you're not going to use it. You've got zippered pouches on the sides. Just a lot of great features. Yeah, it's got a spot a, for your Yeti. It's got, it's got, got it all. Fly in it. It's just rattle antlers. Yeah, it's a nice, well built. It's it's quiet, right? It's not like as soft as that mystery mystery ranch, but this is a quiet yeah, fabric. Yeah, yeah. And you're it looking looks... at a hundred and thirty nine dollar pack. Yeah. Nice. Right, so it's less than half the price with a lot of the same features. Um, so that is new for Muddy for this year. Again, they have other ones. They have one that's like smaller. It's like a thousand cubic inches. Plus they've got the fanny pack as well. So pretty cool new stuff coming out from Muddy for this year. Do you guys got other? Stuff? I got another one. Right. I'm I'm out. Todd's out. I've been talking about I got all another day. one. I saw this one. I got here. The Viper Charge Four, Charge Plus. Man. Gotta get this stuff right. Let me make sure that's, that's on there. Today. I'll shine that, that at Brandon. So we got green, blue, red, depending on what you wanna do. Um, so this is a rechargeable sight light, but also, you know, if you get out there, uh oh, I'm running out of charge, we've got the battery backup as well. Uh, so you so has got a built-in internal as well as a replacement. Yep, yeah. you're gonna okay. use the rechargeable. You've got these gear ties here that you can put on. Those are to called wrap night around. eyes. If you were paying attention to my last night this, eyes, those are called night eyes. That's the company that makes those. I did not know. They're I'm awesome. Sure night other eyes. Why? Yeah, yeah nobody. Else I'm sure they have them. a patent on that. I mean, come on. Is it like a Kleenex <laughs> or a tissue? <laughs> or a tissue. I'm Thank one. That those are night eyes. Or butt wipe. <laughs> so uh, you can also, you know, zip tie these. So, yeah. but anyway, okay, what's so cool about a, a sight light like that? Well, first off, this thing's 89 bucks. And so this is, is going to be, is that good, good or bad? That I can't good? tell. Yeah, I so, know. That's, so people are like, oh, you know, I get that one that comes on my site that's just a little push button. Now, those things don't light up your pins bright enough. This thing is like overbuilt. Is this good for when I'm like shooting after legal hours? Well, so it's funny you should mention that. <laughs> o old dude like me, I have a, this one tree stand that's on, inside the woods and I'm shooting out into a field. Yep. At the end of the evening, my pins go black. I yep. can't see them because I'm aiming like being at the inside bright. Of a blind. It's like a blind. Right? Same thing. Yep. So this is one, it's going to have multiple attachments that are going to fit basically any site that's out there on the All market. Right. And it's better built than those ones that use the stack like this yeah, long with of the those little, little batteries. tiny watch batteries in there. They're a pain. They always get stuck on. They're hard to turn off. I agree. Off. I agree. Yeah. This is like the Cadillac, but not at that Cadillac price. Now, I got a question for you. So we heard the price. There it is. Now, is this, first of all, we're going to put a disclaimer on the bottom of this that Justin was kidding about shooting him at night. But the question for you, PJ. Yes. I'm just looking at this thing out. Yes. Did they make this waterproof at all? I mean, I, I mean. It is water resistant. Okay. So what you're going to do, target archers, we do this all the time. You put this inside a plastic bag and strap it to your sight. Okay. So that that's what makes it waterproof. All right. But we do that with any of the any of the sight what, lights. What what is that the, out like there. a competition sight light cost? 
Uh, for, I mean, for you're getting archer. so some of the really good ones with all kinds of programmable stuff up there. You're getting up two hundred dollars. Okay. Oof. All right. So eighty nine dollars feels pretty so good for a light. Yes. Man. But they're gonna have. 15 different brightness levels and you're going to have six colors that you can yeah they're maybe that's what we're doing wrong they're crazy maybe we don't so. have enough lights am i allowed to use a light on my site in the bow hunter division uh, i can't yes. have a lens but i can have you a can't light. have a lens but you can have at the langstar archery classic you can light up your pin that's in there maybe that's you know, the secret dude maybe that's that's, that's, that's the difference right. light it up Placing. sign me up viper charge plus that sign awesome. me up baby all right, last product. Justin, I mean, I saved my favorite one for the for the end. I, I, I kind of feel like you cheated a little bit, though. Why? Because it just you just went this backpack. Right, right. I mean, it's like that's not even like what? you tried. I'm not good at I'm archery. I'm just gonna get backpacks. I'm not good at archery, <laughs> right? So I figured I'd stick the technical archery stuff to PJ. All right. You were walking so around with Chris to... B all day. He could have picked stuff out for you. You think so? Yeah. I could have asked him. He was he too busy signing autographs and kissing babies. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me now. We got you. Listen. Put saddle, the pitch on. Saddle guys. When I started saddle hunting two years ago, my biggest gripe was how do I pack all my stuff? Yes. Right? So now I had a system before when I was packing a lone wolf stain and sticks. Todd and I have been doing it for so long, I had a system down. And then all of a sudden I didn't yeah. have that 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 stand, which was kind of like the frame that I put all my stuff on. Yeah. So I went through multiple backpacks and all this stuff. And every time we met with the guys from Tethered, they were like, hey, what should we what should we be working on? Like, what, what do you guys think would be a cool new product? And I was like, somebody needs to figure out a backpack for saddle hunters. And they were like, don't worry, we got this. So they've been developing this for a couple years. They call this the Fast Pack, F-A-S. It stands for For All Saddle Hunters. Meaning even if you're not a, using a tethered for saddle or a tethered saddle platform, hunters. you can use their backpack if you're a saddle hunter. Can I use it? I haven't gone saddle hunting yet. You're going to I'm next going to your PJ to. or I'm disowning you. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, it's, it looks relatively small. And that's kind of the point of saddle hunting, like the minimalist, lightweight packability, right? So they didn't want to make a giant pack. But what they did is they made it extremely modular. So you can add stuff. You can see there's molly all over this thing, right? You can add pouches and pockets till your heart is content. It is built to work with their Predator pack. So do you have the Predator pack? I do. So the Predator is their platform. It just holds a platform. Right, but it's built to go right here on the front of this thing. Okay. So then it, it kind of like um, pivots out like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, so your platform's on the outside. And then you get a set of uh, compression straps that go around. So you can use that. You shove your jacket, whatever you want, in there and then compression it down. Okay. Now you would have to buy that separate. It doesn't come with the pack. The pack does come with the compression straps. They're just not on this right now because they're removable. So just like that muddy pack where I said like I need compression straps, they go all the way over the outside of this pack. So um, just like kind of like the Mystery Ranch, you've got a pocket on the top that is a pass through to the inside. So when this thing's hanging open in the tree, you've got access here. Mm -hmm. you've, this is all a soft fleece lining, so everything's nice and quiet to the touch. Yeah, it's me, not going to screw up the, any of your uh, gear. Uh, let the on noise the, guy on the check inside, that out. Right? So you've got a couple pockets the on the police. inside. You've got another zippered pocket on the inside as well. What I think is really cool are these outside pockets. Because for me, I use these a ton, right? I'm carrying my camera gear. We're carrying our fourth arrow camera base, right? So you could take your camera arm shove it right down in here okay you can open this up this is big enough to fit your fourth arrow base yeah boom so that's on the outside of my pack so when i get to my tree and i'm saddle hunting i can hang this up in the tree i've got exterior access to all the stuff that i need to yeah. get onto the tree also what they did is these pouches here they call them like bowling ball pouches what they would refer to them as but this is like a ballistic stretch material oh, that's not going to fray yeah. like it's super high-end materials that they that. used and this thing expands a ton so yeah. you can get water bottles like or whatever it. you want so i think it's like 1300 cubic inches but you can expand it out you can strap molly pouches to it all sorts of stuff and it's made in the usa which is great you don't see a lot of textile type yeah, products right. made in america it also does have an aluminum stay in the back of it so it, it is it's rigid yeah right and that aluminum stay what you would do is you kind of like you need a friend or somebody to help you like mold it to the shape of your back so that when you put this thing on it's molded would you to let your back todd mold of that of course to your i back? would todd todd get, 
Would you let Justin? Are you going to return this, or am I going to mold it to your back right now? <laughs> We're not going to mold it to my back. Now this thing is the highest price of the bunch. It's four hundred bucks. It's four hundred bucks for this pack. But what the guys at Tethered said was they used all the most premium, high-end materials that they could possibly find. So this thing will last you hopefully a lifetime. Yeah. yeah. Right? They understand like it's going to be pricey. You want to play? You got to pay. But it's built. It is what it is. It's awesome. Yeah. This thing is super badass. You've got gussets in the bottom in case you get water in there or something to drain out. Yeah. So it's just a really cool if pack. Your and butt wipe pack leaks. <laughs> if your butt wipes leak out. So this is the fast pack from Tethered. I'm not returning it. Sorry, Greg and Ernie. Taking this one Greg home. Greg and Ernie. Taking you this just one lost the pack, it. guys. So that is our gear roundup for day two. And that we probably won't do one tomorrow because Todd's not here. And Where we gotta, are you going? we gotta tear the booth down. Me and PJ might do something yeah, tomorrow right, fun after on. after Todd leaves, but it is the end of day two, boys. After it went the fast. boss is gone. It did go it fast. Go fast. We still year. got some more stuff to see though. So Brandon guys, is giving us the you're done. We're done. We'll see you next time. Right here. Bye, PJ. Uh <laughs>